Hey everybody, I'm doing an update video on the Political Action Committee for Model Aviation. The reason I'm doing this is I did my video the other day and got a ton of questions and I thought it'd be best for me to answer those questions and then I can get back to doing what my YouTube channel normally does. Okay, in the future, I'm hoping all the videos on the Political Action Committee for Model Aviation comes from the YouTube site we're creating for them and not mine. To recap, I did a video the other day where I uh, joined as a board member of the Political Action Committee for Model Aviation. That video link will be at the end of this video if you haven't seen it. So I'm not going to dive in deep on what that is. I'm taking a break from working on the brakes on my airplane. So let's dive into these questions. Um, hey Damon, it's, a, it's cool you joined the pack. How can I help and how much of the donations go to help us modelers? Are you getting paid? Um, how can you help donate? 25, 50, 100 bucks, whatever you can give, please donate. Please watch the first video if you don't understand why you're donating. We need to help elect officials in Washington that are pro model aviation. Being a board member is a voluntary position. Federal Election Commission, FEC rules do not allow PAC board members to receive compensation for their positions. I'm not allowed legally to accept any money for being on the board of the Political Action Committee for Model Aviation. So it's a total voluntary thing I'm gonna to try to put five or 10 years into. Keep in mind everybody, this is a long-term <clears throat> excuse me, this is a long-term solution to protecting model aviation. Um, and another thing to understand everybody, um, I've been asked a lot where are the donations going. This thing is still in its infancy, but to create a pack in Washington costs $10,000. So that's been the investment that's already been up front to get this started. So the donations, um, short term, are helping get the pack up and running. Long term is going to be able to get laws passed by Congress that protects model aviation. Next question. Dag, this, and if you don't know, my nickname is Dag, D-A-G. Sorry, I should have said that. Watch the first video, you'll understand. Dag, this is fascinating. Will you go to D.C. and meet senators, members of Congress, and maybe the president? <laughs> No, I am just an aviator. The reason I joined this board was to be able to work directly with each of you model aviators on any level I can to help you understand how important this political action committee is. Keep in mind, there's 4,000 PACs out there. In some ways, now that I've learned what a political action committee is, I don't know why we haven't had one for model aviation the last 10 years. Okay, we might have been able to help um, steer the rules on remote ID and done a lot of good if we would have started this pack 10 years ago. But like I have always said, it's never too late to be a solution. Okay, so we need your donations, everybody. And I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we need. Um, we have people that work in D.C., and I'll get to that when I answer a different question, but we actually have a lobbyist, a D.C. lobbyist that sits on our board that works directly um, with Washington. Um, next question. Dag, tell me the truth. Was this pack created to kill the Academy of Model Aeronautics? Absolutely not. Okay, look, everybody. I'm not going to get into any of the hate that's going on out there in model aviation right now. And there's a lot of it. We all need to be a solution. Okay? This political action committee is protect every one of you watching this that holds a radio in your hand or flies a free flight model, whatever you fly in our national air system, we're going to help work with DC to steer the laws and rules to help give us model aviators all the freedoms we need. Okay, this is gonna help ultimately any AMA member, any other CBO, community-based organization that comes up, if flight test ever created theirs or some of these other ones, the political action committee is for all of you okay um so absolutely not um i did find out something that's interesting um the political action committee for model aviation has joined the academy of model aeronautics government advocacy coalition and plans on supporting other organized organizations in the united front and what that means is if other cbo's pop up we're gonna work directly uh, in, in taking your voice also to Washington. Um, here's something that I found out that was really interesting when I was researching how to answer your questions. 
It is vital that we target the Senate Commerce and House Transportation and Infrastructure, Infrastructure Committees, subcommittees on aviation. So we need to educate these people that model aviation has one of the most safest records there is for anything that flies in our national air system. So when I start to think about, you know, what we're going to help Washington understand is we're going to get them to understand how safe we are. And once they understand that, then rules and laws can be passed that, that helps protect our rights to fly. Um, and if you have any questions about any of this, you can go to, um, uh, and I'll put those at the bottom of the video. I'll get to that at the end. Um, but these subcommittees steer what happens with rulemaking. And if we don't get them to understand who and what we are, they can do devastating rules like the remote ID thing that's trying to come up that could greatly affect us. We need to have lawmakers understand that remote ID is horrible for model aviation. Okay. Uh, and just as a note, most of you longtime followers of mine know that I am a lifetime member of the Academy of Model Aeronautics, and I always will be. But this political action committee for model aviation has nothing to do except preserve all of our rights to fly model aircraft. And I'm sorry I'm kind of going fast, everybody. It's the evening, and I'm just, I'm just wanting to get these questions out there and to help everybody understand how important this political action committee is. Question, I just saw your video, Damon, and have a ton of questions, but the biggest is how fast can we see results? Can we stop this ridiculous remote ID thing? Um, I'm going to break this down in a couple of things, okay? If you're expecting to see results in the next two to three weeks, uh, the political action committee, that's not our goal. Our goal is long term to get and help to, to help get elected officials put in positions in Washington that understand what model aviation is and to protect us. Okay, keep in mind there's 4,000 PACs out there protecting all kinds of interests from the NRA to the um, Medical Doctors Association. There's 4,000 PACs. And now we're going to be one for the voice of model aviation. So this is a long-term fix, everybody. This is not a, you're going to see something in a month. Okay, because we need to educate and get elected officials to be on our side. Um, I do think we can help get the proper people understanding this so that we can get remote ID to work with us, not make us work for it. Okay. Um, when you're donating to the political action committee, you're donating to a long-term solution that's going to protect our rights for the next 20 years. Um, one thing you need to keep in mind though, okay, and you can go to websites as I get to know this more, you'll be able to see, um, I believe where donations and everything are going and who we're supporting and understand elections though, guys, th this is a muddy place to live. This is the reason we have a lobbyist and this is the reason I'm only going to be working with model aviators. I have no interest with getting into anything with DC. I want to work with you model aviators and, and helping save the hobby. But in every election cycle, there's a winner and a loser. Okay. There's could be three people running for president. You got a Republican, a Democrat, and maybe a, a uh, 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 an independent. So two of those people are going to lose. So it's possible that the political action committee for model aviation could be backing somebody who loses and you could go, well, what a waste of money. It's better than doing nothing. People, we have to try. Okay. Hopefully we align ourselves with winners. They get elected. And then they are in Congress and help write the rules and laws that protect model aviation. Okay, and this is all new to all of us, okay? Who would have ever thought model aviation 20 years ago would have to have a political action committee? Okay? And, on, and I'm just going to be really sincere to you. If you're uncomfortable with donating money, knowing that it's possible that who we back might lose, then don't donate. Okay? But I have been looking for the last 18 months for solutions on how to save this hobby. And believe it or not, when the political action committee reached out to me and said, you know, Damon, could you help me our voice? A light came on and I thought, well, absolutely. You know, we're getting modern here, people. We're not just sitting here complaining. I hate complainers. Um, question. Hi, Damon. I love the video. Tell me more about who the PAC will support. 
where are our monies really going? And I've already touched base on this a little bit, but we're going to gain champions in Washington, D.C., people that are pro-model aviation. Um, we have the support of many uh, people in office, but many members, of many members of Congress are indifferent to our situation. They just don't know about us. So imagine this. We got a congressman up there that watched a YouTube video of somebody doing something stupid and says, I hate model aviation. And then that same congressman or woman finds out that their nephew's having an absolute blast flying quads. And they go, well, wait a minute. That's not what I saw on TV. So we've got to help educate these people in D.C. how safe we are and how fun this is. And keep in mind, how many engineers, how many, how many astronauts were model aviators? Okay, um, look at Rutan, model aviator, guys. We've got to make Washington understand that being part of model aviation is a rocking thing to do. Okay, our focus will be to support our current champions and find new ones that will help us push pro-model aviation pro model aviation legislation and apply pressure on the FAA. Keep in mind what that means. We need to pressure, we, we need to apply all the pressure we can on the FAA because Congress is who tells FAA what to do. So if Congress tells the FAA, get rid of model aviation, we're screwed. If Congress and our champions say, hey, you protect model aviation, FAA has to follow that rule. So quit thinking the FAA is a bad guy here. We need to get Congress on our side. In, in addition to finding champions, we must also support those who are running against our enemies. Those who have publicly said Mali aviation is bad and unsafe. I'm not going to mention, and since it's my private video, uh, and I could probably get away with saying it. Now keep in mind, everybody, I want to get back to doing my aviation videos and make all of these political action committee videos come from their YouTube in the future. I'm only doing this as a follow-up for questions. But you know if you've watched some of the videos on YouTube of senators or congressmen saying model aviation is unsafe. I don't want these things flying over my house, videotaping me, you know, uh, laying in a bikini in the backyard. You know, I, it, it's all perverse and all this stuff. Those are our enemies. So we need to align ourselves with congressmen and women and lawmakers that are going to go, wait a minute, you're nuts. That's not model aviation. That's somebody breaking the law. Um, and we do have a lobbyist that sits on the board of the Political Action Committee for Model Aviation. This lobbyist has spent years and years, I don't know exactly, but decades in Washington, D.C. and walks the hall of D.C. every day, walks in Congress every day. This is a board member of the Political Action Committee who's going to help um, model aviators have a voice in D.C. and get rule makers and lawmakers to be on our side. Um, the Federal Election Committee and about how the money is spent. There's legal things that are very, very stringent here. You know, I can't write myself a check to go buy a new electric motor for my airplane. Okay, that doesn't exist in the Political Action Committee. Political Action Committee has very, very stringent rules we have to follow by the FEC. Um, Basically, you can go to www.fec.gov and understand all the rules, okay? I'm a volunteer. I can't take a dime, okay? So that said, everybody, I'm not going to sit here and rant. Um, I am going to beg you to donate. I don't care if it's 25, 50, 100. And look, I totally understand these are hard times right now. COVID come along at the worst possible time it could when we, well, when the pack was started and then asked me to join. Okay, I know hard times right now, but if we do nothing for the next 12 months because of COVID, we're still going to let a lot happen in Washington that could be detrimental to our future. So look, I have a ton of followers that follow my bills, and I know that you come from all walks of life. If you can't give, don't. But if you can give, please give. And I'm going to be begging you for the next 10 years to keep giving. And when you see two years or three years from now that we've made a big impact in Washington and model aviation, I can fly in my front yard and not worry about, you know, the, the remote ID police coming and saying, wait a minute, why are you flying in your front yard? Okay, we need to preserve our rights to fly model aviation wherever we want people. So uh, that's it for the video. Um, you all have a rocking evening. And uh, I believe this will be the last video I do for my YouTube on this subject. And... Uh,
please give. And uh, down in the bottom of the YouTube here somewhere, there's going to be a link to the Political Action Committee for Model Aviation. There'll be a link to the FEC.gov, and there will be a link to the uh, Kennedy Model, Model Aeronautics uh, Government Coalition, uh, what they're trying to do. So there'll be three links down here, and uh, y'all have a rockin' night. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.